Welcome to Digging with the Wolf. Um, last weekend I found this really sweet bayonet um, and uh, I decided since it was so rusty that I was going to make an electrolysis setup. Um, I cleaned it up a little bit with a, a wire wheel to get some of the major rust off of it. But um, let me show you like the setup and uh, how I did it. Alright, so there's the bayonet that's right down in there. You can see that's it's a really, really nice bayonet. It looks like a, it's an infilled bayonet from now. I have to clean it up and uh, really see what you know what it is after it's nice and clean but you can see see how rusty it is um, this is my electrolysis setup got it on a battery charger here um, my these plastic clamps holding the sacrificial anodes on um, which are just like uh, little pieces of steel um, that I picked up from Lowe's for like four dollars a piece um, and I made these little green wires that are just kind of distributing the current um, and inside this solution here is uh, it's an electrolyte solution which is um, mainly distilled water and uh, some sodium carbonate or like washing powder you know for every uh, four or five cups you want a teaspoon or two of the washing powder and that just really helps the current out a lot so the way that you get it set up is you plug your battery charger in you put your hot lead on one of these um, anodes here and your uh, the bayonet in this case is going to be the cathode so the negative is going to go to that and then I have um, some other things just kind of distributing the current here this is going from one hot side to the other hot side over there and then the other green one is going from one piece of bayonet to the other just in case the rust kind of stops the current from going through so I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing on and uh, see what I can do hopefully we'll see all kind of bubbles coming up and the rust start lifting off of it all right, and I just turned it on, and if you can see that, there's all sorts of bubbles coming off of it. It's really nice over here too, and that that's nothing more than the uh, just the rust and all the impurities just coming right off of it. Um, look at that. All right, it's working really, really nicely, and it, the current's distributing all the way through the bayonet. So all this is going to come off. Um, Hopefully it's going to come out, you know, maybe a couple hours or so, um, all of it. You can just see, like, the rust coming off of it. It's really neat. So I can't wait to show you the finished product. So um, one thing I will tell you is, uh, of course, I don't have my personal protective equipment on, but, you know, this, this stuff is kind of skin irritant, so you want to be wearing your gloves when you do this. Um, and the sacrificial anodes, the steel in this case, is going to be... Um, you know, after a couple of doses, you know, you're going to have to turn this around or clean it or just throw it away and get some new ones. So, um, pretty much the rust lifts off the bayonet and it attaches to the steel and uh, that way your bayonet's clean. So, I'll let you know how it goes and I'll keep you updated on the progress. Here's just a uh, little more footage of all the uh, rust that's just coming off of it. See all the bubbles? Uh, yeah, that's nice. And it's nothing more than just electrical current, and it's, a, it's really just working to my advantage right now. Yeah, that's nice. And uh, feel free to message me if you have any uh, questions on how to build this, if you got some stuff, um, you know, that really needs to, to be cleaned. Um, and they can walk you through the process, I'll shoot you a link on, online where I really found uh, some helpful info. Cool. So uh, thanks again for watching, and uh, join me next time for more Digging with the Wolf. Happy hunting, guys.